Howdy folks, welcome to another channel update. It's the first one since I moved, I think. I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, I'm not doing my face in this one because I'm anticipating it being kind of a short one. Um, if you have noticed the audio in the last couple of uh, chapters, I think, being a little echoey, it's because of the new room. It's a little bigger so that there's there's a little bit more echo. And I haven't quite figured out how to dampen it yet in such a way that it actually works and that I actually like how it looks. Because I live in here and Brandon lives in here and stuff. But yeah, I'm all in the new digs and settled and whatnot. We are at the end of Act 1 of the Dawnbreaker saga. And I have some things that I'm going to change a little bit. It's it's probably not going to be anything bad. So the first thing that I have that I'm going to change is the schedule. Uh, I rather than and it, not the weekly schedule, I'm going to keep if I can. I'm going to keep uploading three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, at 9 a.m. because that way the videos are. <laughs> up when I wake up and I can just post them to Discord, the Character Crusade Discord, and everything is fine and dandy and awesome. Good morning. So, uh, what was I talking about? Right, uh, rather than playing by chapter, I'm going to be playing by character. So, for instance, I'm about to play Arden because he's gonna be the one who starts out. We left him kind of in the middle of a cliffhanger, and I, I think I'm probably going to be, um, playing I have a roadmap, and I think I'm going to be playing the characters as they as they appear in the roadmap. So the order is going to be the same. It's going to be Arden. Oh, jeez, what's the order? Ha! <sighs> Intonation, Vagrant, Unblooded, Honorless, and then Executioner between parts. So uh, Executioner will still be kind of a, a a thing that happens at a lower frequency, simply because. Ingrath isn't doing any quest lines, he's just sort of off doing his own thing. So that that'll stay the same, but basically I'll just like I'll play Arden until I get to a stopping point. Like I said, I have a roadmap, and then I'll switch over to Zaytest so that I'm not getting tired of playing characters. I I tend to get tired of playing Yarnvita the fastest. Um and I lose track of her story the fastest. Uh, her, her and Kinoa are kind of tied, I, but that's why I have a roadmap now. So it's gonna be a lot- a little bit more plotted out. Obviously Skyrim will continue to throw things at me that I don't expect and I'll just have to roll with it, as usual. But that's a thing that's going to be happening. I'm gonna be- we'll have a couple episodes of, of Intonation, then a couple episodes of Vagrant and yada yada yada. Um, interspersed with episodes of Executioner where I think they're appropriate. Um, speaking of which, Executioner will no longer be early access after Entry 13, which, um, at the end of, uh, at the end of Honorless, um, the patrons, just recently, the patrons got, um, the Entry 13, but the public hasn't? Or shouldn't have? Uh, someone managed to find it who isn't a patron? And I'm not sure how that happened, but like, good on you, sir. That's that's some hacker level stuff right there. <laughs> I'm very amused. Um, you're not in trouble or anything. I'm just super amused by the fact that that happened. Um, so Executioner will no longer be early access to patrons. I'm going to be doing other stuff for Patreon so that uh, everything can flow as it's supposed to. Because having Executioner be early access means that the flow would have been a little bit off and a little bit squirrely with uh, trying to keep things going chronologically in the Dawnbreaker saga. It's gonna be fun trying to figure out how to just merge everything into the same thing. But uh, we're not there yet. We probably won't be there even in Act 3. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know how it's gonna go. So, new things for patrons. 
Patreon supporters will now be getting a video once or twice a month, depending on how busy I am. Like I said, I don't actually get a lot of recording time these days. So, yeah, I'm going to do my best to schedule my time appropriately so that I'm doing quiet things when people are here and actual recording things when people are here. It's been a bit of a, a struggle because we had painters in a while ago for the last like month or so who would come and paint the outside like uh the exterior painters not interior but they would come with like we're on the third floor so we would get ladders up against the wall and then the sound of the paint happening and it was not a thing that you could record with happening in the background so yeah i'm a little behind on my own schedule i'm not as behind as i could be even with Mile High happening, it was, uh, it's, it's been a weird month. So I'm just gonna, I'm a little, I'm a little salty about everything, but I'm, I'm getting over it. So, uh, the, the new videos that the patrons will get, the once or twice a month thing, they will either be a video or voice tutorial, some kind of tutorial regarding, like, how I make videos, how I put together, um, cutscenes, how I do voice effects, that kind of thing. Um, Couch has done tutorials like these in the past. A lot of what I do, I learned from him. So if there's some overlap there, it's it's unintentional and it's just kind of a byproduct of me learning from Couch Warrior. So there's that. <laughs> um, the other option will be Candid Let's Plays. If you remember Bargast on Bothered, they'll be like that. So me just kind of squirreling around in the background and I could do those when Brandon is sitting here next to me if I wanted to uh, It'll depend on time and what I'm doing uh, I have I have specifically been requested to do a cutscene tutorial which will Probably take a while because cutscenes take a while and I'm gonna want to Put the tutorial out after the cutscene has gone up that I've done so I'll just be talking people through it, I suppose? I don't know, well, I have to think about that one and I'll see when I get there. Candid Let's Plays, I'll just like find a character and just sit down and play the character and, and chat like I'm doing now. But actually responding to the things in game. It's, it's very interesting now being able to actually play and record at the same time. So I'm doing that now, guys. Hey, <laughs> uh, I'm not doing, um, I'm not doing voice post-production anymore, I'm actually responding to things in-game, which is why I can, like, stop and actually talk in character now rather than, um, like, try to respond to what's going on. It's a little bit easier and a little bit harder. It's very difficult to edit out, like, mouse clicks, so occasionally you'll hear, like, the, t the keyboard going or, or the mouse going. I- which is why I tend not to talk during combat. <laughs> so yeah. Um, patrons will still get short stories every once in a while, by the way. They've had a couple up already. We've had, uh, I think, how many? Two? We've had one short story that was about Zaytest. It was Zaytest meeting Ingrath for the first time. And then there was another one about Ingrath and uh, what happened in Bruma. So if any of you are all are, are at all interested in learning more about that before that kind of comes up in the story, in the let's play, the, the, the screen stuff, uh, they're on Patreon and they're, uh, they're available to everything, or everything on Patreon is available to anyone who gives a dollar or more. Like I'm, I'm not doing tiers because I don't, I'm not, <laughs> I don't do enough things for that to be uh, productive and I feel like I mean if you want to give more than a dollar then you are very welcome to and I am super appreciative of it I've got several people who are currently supporting me at a higher thing than I had tiers originally so like salute to you all of you holy moly uh, thank you patrons <laughs> I'm it's a shout out to all the patrons thank you guys so much I probably would not- no, I definitely would still be doing this if not for you, but it would be a little bit rougher around the edges. Uh, my life would be a little rougher around the edges, so thank you. Our current goal is to be getting- is to get me up to, uh, $60 a month. 
That way I can pay the internet bill, <laughs> which I need to do this. Uh, I can pay the internet bill without having to do commissions. Um, which is another thing that I do. I do uh, character illustration commissions when I'm not doing this. And that's kind of my biggest source of income right at the moment. Thankfully, I live with three people who are awesome. I probably will leave a link to my shop down in the, in the description, by the way. It's currently on vacation mode while I readjust some things, some pricing, some whatnot. It's gonna be fine. Um, right. The, the recap for Act 1 will go up soon, within like the next few days. Um, and Act 2 will start next week. We will be throwing Arden back into the fire first and seeing how uh, each of the characters either blows up, burns out, or starts becoming a diamond or, or, or steel or whatever it ends up being. Uh, I'm... I have a roadmap, and I'm anticipating things going squirrely. It's gonna be interesting. So another thing that I'm going to be doing, uh, that I'm implementing now, is I have created an email that you can send stuff to. Uh, the email is Dawnbreakers Submissions. There are no- that's not two S's, it's Submissions at gmail.com. And you can send pretty much whatever you want to it, within reason. Please no weird pictures or anything. Like, this is for in-story stuff. So if you wanted to, for instance, write Arden a letter from one of his buddies back at the College of Whispers, you could do that. Uh, you could send Ingrath on a mission from Harkin or somebody. Um, this the, the idea was inspired by when Couch Warrior did Shadeling for Hire. Basically, you could put in a uh, a Dark Brotherhood contract for somebody, and Shadeling would go do it in a very creative and interesting way. And I really like that. You can do that with like Zaytest and and Ingrath, although he would have to be getting his stuff from Harkin. You can do it as like putting a contract in and seeing who takes it. It's, some of it can be up to me, some of it can be up to you. Um, if you have ideas for, like, stuff going on in Morrowind where Yarnvita's um, daughter and granddaughter are, you can send that to the address as well. I will leave that in the description as well, um, or I'll put it up on the screen somehow. I'm not sure which, but there's an email now, and you can send stuff to it. You can send letters and requests and, and um, contracts and heists, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. A lot of it will depend on my ability to implement the thingy, but I will do my best. And with that, I'm going to thank all of you for watching, thank the patrons, thank you patrons! And um, I will see you around, I've gotta get back to recording now, so have a good one y'all! Take care, be awesome, make someone's day, that kind of thing.